Hi, my name is Skip Danes. I'd like to welcome you to Danes Music Company and invite you to help us celebrate our sesquicentennial anniversary. That's 150 years. Our company was founded in 1862 by my great-grandfather John Danes, a watchmaker, musician, and Mormon pioneer here in Salt Lake City. John's son Joseph, who was 14 when they arrived in the Salt Lake Valley, had entertained and inspired the pioneers along the route by playing this little concertina and this melodeon. Upon hearing him play this little instrument, Brigham Young named him the first organist for the newly completed Mormon Tabernacle, a position he held for 33 years. During this period in 1873, our company became the first Steinway piano dealership west of New York. And many of these pianos were shipped to us on clipper ships following the East Coast, southward past the Caribbean, down the South American coastline, around the Straits of Magellan, and then north along the South American coastline, past Mexico and Baja, to the port of San Francisco, then over Donner Pass, across the desert to Salt Lake City on freight wagons pulled by horses. Anyway, it's a bit easier these days to bring great instruments to deserving students, artists, and families here in Utah. In 1902, my grandfather Royal W. Danes took over the business. It was the age of the piano. Every family had one, or wanted one. Obviously, there was no internet, TV, even radios. Home entertainment centered around the piano. Through a series of partnerships and buyouts, our business flourished and solidified from the turn of the 20th century through the 1920s. My grandfather saw the mission of Danes Music as more than merely a place where you could purchase a fine piano, but as a purveyor of fine music and culture in our growing community, a tradition that we have maintained to this day. Through his efforts over 20 years, the Salt Lake Philharmonic was merged with the WPA Orchestra and became today's Utah Symphony. After serving an LDS mission in France and Belgium, completing his education at Stanford University, and serving as an officer in World War II, my father took over the business in 1950. One of the first things he did, in addition to moving the store to a three-story building downtown, was to work with the legendary ballet choreographer William Christensen. In the founding of Utah Civic Ballet, which became today's Ballet West. Their first offices and wardrobe facilities were housed at our store. Dad also expanded our reach beyond Salt Lake City with branch stores in Provo and Ogden, with smaller satellite stores throughout the Intermountain West. I took over the business in 1965, and after we moved the store back to Main Street, we helped the fledgling Utah Opera get on its feet by giving them free space in our building for 12 years. But by far the biggest challenge I faced was fundamental change in the music industry, from making music to consuming music. No longer was the piano at the center of home entertainment, and music education had become an after-school elective or eliminated from the curriculum altogether. So in addition to maintaining our tradition of providing the finest musical instruments to the people of the Mountain West, our family business became an advocacy on behalf of music education. We nurtured our relationship with educators, especially piano teachers, who helped us expand our piano sheet music department, which is now the largest collection in the state. We work closely with music departments in universities and colleges in our region, many of whom are all Steinway schools, a proven means for recruiting the most promising students. And now in conjunction with the University of Utah, 
we've created an innovative online music curriculum for elementary students. You Play Piano is being developed mainly for elementary age children. The goal is to establish this program in many schools across Utah. Uh, there have been many reports that the students in this program have tested 50% higher in reading and math, and this is really exciting news for us. With its thousands of moving parts, its precision craftsmanship, its beauty, and its sound, the piano in many ways epitomizes technology of the 19th and early 20th centuries. And now here we are in the 21st century, embracing so many brilliant yet subtle advances in technology that enable you to combine the power of great music with the perfection of a great piano for learning, composition, performance, and some fun too. A hundred and fifty years. That makes us the oldest continuously run family business in Utah, and one of the oldest in the United States. And as we look to the future, we'll continue to do our best to provide you with the very finest pianos, and we'll continue to innovate and serve our community with educational tools and an unwavering commitment to bringing great music to Salt Lake City and beyond.